Hello Internet, Trapezoid. I'm excited to show you something that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I've been designing and thinking about it for years. Um, the price for the components were just too expensive, so I've never had the ability to, uh, to get the time and money to actually do it. Um, but without further ado, here are my individually addressable LED pants. As you can see, it starts on my right hip, goes down, up, wraps around my belt, back down my left leg, and then up my left leg. Um, like I was saying before, the components for these uh, types of pants or these types of um, anything, whatever you're trying to build, it was just ridiculously overpriced, um, but now uh, these LED strips, these individually controlled LED strips with the WS2801 um, IC chip controlling each LED. Um, I got each meter for $27 shipped um, on eBay. Uh, the pants completely take up about 5 meters. Um, they bow a little bit so I'm going to end up taking out some LEDs. Um, I'm also, I think I'm going to remove the center and just have it loop back down really quick. Um, this is one mode, but the whole unit device is controlled um, by an Arduino. It's actually a Borduino. It's a uh, uh, breadboard clone uh, of the Decimalia Arduino. Um, and there's a switch here that kills the whole power. And it starts back up. This is the mode button and there is 14 different modes built into it. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, a rainbow. It just starts from my right side and slowly moves to the left. Um, the LEDs are inside the pants. All the wires are inside the pants. You can't really see anything um, except right here. You can see a couple of the wires. But the belt is on the outside. I did this um, because I figured I would always have a shirt on and if it was underneath the pants and the shirt the belt might be a little uh, dimmer than the actual pants so I wanted to try to keep them all the same brightness. Um, there's a few things that I want to do. I want to add a pedometer so I can control the actual brightness of the whole um, of all the LEDs so that maybe I can la make the um, pants last a little bit longer on battery. Um, I want to add a microphone, which I have right here, to also do the same thing, control the intensity of the LEDs, but do it based on how much sound is going on in the um, room. Um, the control box is actually kind of big because there's the Borduino, which is relatively large, as well as a 9 volt battery. And I did this because it's not completely powered power off the 9 volt battery, powered off a 9 volt battery, as well as these Energizer uh, lithium batteries. And with just powering it off of just these batteries, these four AA batteries, I can get about four hours of runtime. Um, but with the before the Arduino loses, uh, has isn't being powered enough and it starts acting up. But with the 9 volt battery, the Arduino is powered by itself and these strips can actually run on 3 volts, uh, up to a uh, minimum of 3 volts, I believe maybe 3.5. But it will basically drain these batteries a little farther, a little more, and I'll get a little longer time um, before the actual Arduino X actually starts um, messing up. This is actually probably my favorite um, right here, this mode. Um, besides that, what else do I want to do? So because of that, it's actually kind of big, but I'm going to end up switching to a smaller box um, because I'm going to power it um, by either the Arduino Nano or the DigiSpark. Um, I just actually got this one from the Kickstarter um, project. But this might not work 
because of how many pins I will end up needing once the whole project is complete, um, as well as how many bytes this can hold. Because currently the program is about 11,000 uh, bytes, and the Borduino and the DigiSpark, if I'm not mistaken, can only hold um, about 14,000 um, bytes um, because it's a 18 mega 68. But the Nano um, can actually hold 30,000, so I'll be able to program uh, a few more modes as well as add a couple different extra you know features and functionality to it um, and there we go we looped back around to the original um, what else do we got is that it um, do 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 going down my checklist yeah I think that's pretty much it um, the source code is on github right now this is basically my beta version I wanted to create this video um, really quickly before I actually went in and did all the extra features that I wanted to um, just so that I can make two videos versus one and have a couple different source codes. Um, so uh, check out the website Rebzord.com and um, you can check it out on GitHub. There will be links in the um, description if you have any comments or questions or if you think this is cool, share it. Uh, let people know what's going on. All right, thank you.